June 2005, question 6. We're being asked here to complete the square. So if I divide 3 by 2 and square my brackets and take away the new value squares, remember to add the 1 on the end. That gives me x minus 3 over 2 all squared minus 9 over 4 plus 1. And if I add 1, which is 4 over 4 to minus 9 over 4, I get minus 5 over 4. We are then asked to solve the equation, hence or otherwise. So what I'm going to do is set this equal to 0. So that's when x minus 3 over 2 all squared equals 5 over 4. So x minus 3 over 2 equals plus or minus square root of 5 over 2, which means that x is 3 over 2 plus or minus root 5 over 2. We're going to use the factor theorem here to try and find a factor. So we're going to substitute values of x. Um, we're looking for a value of x that gives us f of x to be 0. I know that my values to try must all be the factors of minus 1. So that is actually only plus and minus 1. So I'm going to start by substituting 1. So that's 3 minus 2 minus 1, which is 0. And what that tells me is that x minus 1 is a factor. I'm now going to factorise this by inspection. So I have x minus 1. I want 3x cubed, which means I have to have 3x squared. I want minus 1 on the end, which means I have to have a plus 1. And I have something in the middle, which I'm going to call ax. I want to have minus 2x. And this is going to come from minus 1 times ax, so minus ax, and x times plus 1, which gives me that ax has to equal 3x, so a is 3. So when I factorise this, I get x minus 1 upon 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. If I then let f of x equal 0, x minus 1 has to equal 0, which gives me a solution of x, minus, x equals 1. 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Using the quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is 12. And what I see here is this is going to give me a negative. So there are no solutions to this equation.